As I'm sure you know by now, there is a new 2022 Toyota Tundra and it has been redesigned for the first time in 15 long years for this, the third generation. There are some major changes with the new model. So in this video, we're gonna compare it to the 2022 Nissan Titan, both in spec and tech, but also of course in design. We're gonna have a look at the front, the side and the rear and compare the two. And then I'm gonna let you know which one I would buy. Starting with the powertrain here, the 2022 Toyota Tundra will not offer a V8 Anymore, which is a shame. Instead, it comes with two different engine options, a standard or a hybrid V6 with the focus on being better at gas mileage, of course, and luxury than the previous model. I can see the gas mileage savings being a priority, but I'm not so sure about the luxury aspects here. And the reason for that is it will drive up the, even the base price for the 2022 Tundra and make it less affordable for people just wanting a regular full-size truck without paying for all the added luxury features. The standard version develops 389 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque, which isn't bad for a base engine. However, the hybrid version comes with an electric motor hooked up to it, and that means that you can drive it on pure electric power only at low speeds and for a very short distance. This hybrid combo boosts the power up to 437 horsepower and 583 pound-feet of torque. Torque. Also new for the 2022 is, this is a big deal, is the rear suspension which utilizes leaf springs in the previous generation and now that's been replaced with more refined coil spring setup that should improve overall comfort and handling of the truck. Just because the V8 is no more doesn't mean that the new Tundra can't tow heavy loads. The Tundra can tow an impressive 12,000 pounds. Of course the 2022 Toyota Tundra comes in a TRD Pro trim level and that means it's fitted with special TRD tuned springs, which gives it an additional 1.1 inch ground clearance compared to other trims. In addition, the TRD Pro Tundra also comes with a TRD front anti-roll bar, an aluminum front skid plate, multi-terrain select crawl control, Falcon all-terrain tires, an electronic locking rear differential, two and a half inch diameter Fox dampers, and of course, unique exterior and interior TRD details and graphics. The TRD Pro is the one we're gonna use when we jump into photo Photoshop here and compare it to the Titan in just a minute. Some of the new interior options for the 2022 Tundra are the panoramic sunroof, you have heated and ventilated front seats now, a heated steering wheel and rear sunshade and a digital gauge cluster. So the Nissan Titan, it has still has the V8 engine for the 2022 model year. However, that's also the only option they offer for the Titan. This beast of an engine is a 5.6 liter V8 with 400 horsepower power and it comes standard in every single 2022 Titan. If you like power, you love the Titan, but it's, if you're more concerned about fuel economy, you might want to look somewhere else at other options. Unlike the Tundra, four-wheel drive comes standard on all Titans, whereas in the Tundra you get two-wheel drive as standard with four-wheel drive as an option. You would think since the Titan has a bigger engine than the Tundra, it will be able to tow more. Incorrect. With the standard tow hitch receiver, the Titan can only tow 10,000 1880 pounds still a lot of weight but less than the Tundra with its 12,000 pounds and of course the Titan for 2022 doesn't get nearly as many ch changes as the Tundra did for 2022 and that's okay because the design language here of the Titan is it still feels kind of fresh and it is in line with brand new Nissan models on the inside you have an 8 inch touchscreen as standard a 9 inch as an option for higher trim levels Apple CarPlay Android Auto comes standard standard in every single Titan. Nissan obviously has an equivalent off-road focus trim level to the TRD Pro and it's called the XD Pro 4X. This trim level adds built-in off-road shocks, an electronic locking rear differential, fog lights, unique cloth seats with nice contrast stitching and the upgraded 9-inch touchscreen. And this is the version we're going to compare now to the TRD Pro. All right, so let's jump into the fun stuff here. On top, we have the TRD Pro, brand new Toyota Tundra for 2022, and everything is new about this truck, the design, the engineering. At the bottom here, we have the Pro 4X Nissan Titan for 2022 model. It looks good still. It still looks very modern, very in line, as I said, with the graphics of the general Nissan lineup right now. But there are very big differences in the graphic styling, specifically here in the front, and also in the side that we're gonna have a look 
get here starting with the front end on the on the tundra here I've made a video on this and redesigned it on um, the sketch monkey channel if you want to go and check that out what I said in that video is that I think we need something in the front end here to separate this big massive graphic feature which is this big black piece right here we need something that kind of breaks it up here so what I did on the redesign is I extended this chamfer here if you can see this chamfer that goes like this I wanted that to kind of extend into the grill here and create almost like a uh, separation between the big two black graphics in the front end because otherwise what we have here in the front we, we create a uh, graphic that emphasizes the height of the truck instead of having it em be emphasized in the width and we don't really need that on a truck because the reason being it is in fact a very high very vertical front end so having the graphics emphasize that even more is just going to make it look almost too high in the front end when we can play around with graphics and kind of shorten it visually by creating some sort of uh, separation between these two uh, the big graphic that we have in the front end another thing that I think looks interesting here is the the, the continuous bumper here that, that has the same kind of design and chamfers from one end to the other and it doesn't really change so it looks like it almost has some sort of underbite when it comes to the to the front bumper here specifically looking at it from this view and a little bit in the side view as well which I'm gonna show you in just a second here what I really like about the front end here are these new headlights I love it when you have a massive LED that is just constant like this that you kind of just want to grab and take grab a hold of to make sure it's actually that wide and thick you have that on the Ford Expedition in the rear as well this kind of very thick LED and it creates a very very strong face specifically if you look at this at night and the TOD Pro on top of that comes with this integrated light bar in the grill from factory it kind of looks like it's an aftermarket piece but it is actually stock or standard on the TRD Pro which I think is really cool as well in addition what I like about these headlights here is that they, they follow the chamfer the chamfer of the fender here or the the wing so you can see that this design here is kind of an extension of the graphic features we have further back in the fender and I think that's a good uh, continuation of the lines and how to incorporate those into the LEDs of the headlights themselves on top of that we have have a functional intake right here which I really like this is Toyota we know that they are they can do a lot of fake vents if they wanted to just look at the Toyota Supra for example so I'm glad to see that this vent right here is functional and has a purpose instead of just adding some plastic stuff onto the front end looking at the Nissan Titan here this looks more like a less of a truck design less of a very geometric design and more of a almost SUV style in the front end of the Titan and I really like that it's a different approach that we rarely see on full-size trucks we, do, we still have this sticking out on top of the hood what I would do maybe is just to bring it down in line with the headlights right here so we have a clear separation between the hood stops and where the face of the of the car starts and not have this sticking out and uh, intruding on that piece of, of surface which is the hood that's just a detail I'm not sure how it will look if we just remove the top part of the grill there and have it be in line with the headlights it is a full-size truck so trucks usually want to have this imposing grill which is totally understandable but as you can see here these are pretty much the same height in the front end but the Tundra looks so much higher just because we don't have anything cutting off the front end graphics in the front which we do have here a clear separation of with a, a something that is body colored that reduces the overall height impression and visually how high the front end looks it really helps a lot to have something connecting from one end of the front end to the other that is body colored to separate the graphic features in the front end like we have here on the Nissan Titan having a look at it in the rear before we go into the most important view the side view after we talk about the rear view here what I like about the new TRD Pro here is the new experimentation with the bumper here so this is a bumper that we've never seen on any full-size truck before we have one supplier I think they're based in Jacksonville that creates all the um, uh, the bumpers for vans and trucks like this that are very utilitarian that, that really the, the manufacturers don't design design themselves they outsource the bumpers for these type of trucks and you have that here on this uh, Titan down here and you have it on pretty much every single other full-size and mid-size truck out there but in this case they decided to integrate the bumper here which I, I've, I've heard a lot of comments about they don't like the way it looks and I can kind of see that as well maybe if I if uh, this was 
body color right here. I think there is some sort of some trim level that has these pieces in white in this case. I think that would maybe make it look a little better because right now it feels like it's just cutting off very abruptly here. I'm not used to seeing that on a full size truck. In addition to that, I like these type of headlight uh, taillights. They're very big and they also create a very strong identity here for Toyota. The only problem I have with it is like it looks like it's been stapled in there. The reason I'm saying that is because we have so much tension. It looks like it's stapled in the body and the body now has a lot of tension in it. So its taillight is holding the body together with its force of the stapler, if that makes sense. I'm not sure how else to explain it. And I did talk about this on the Sketch Monkey channel as well. And I did make a redesign of the rear end. So if you want to go and check that out, just search for the Sketch Monkey Tundra and this video will pop up there. But I do have to say, I do admire Toyota for stepping outside of the what's what we're used to specifically down here with the bumper. And then you have this button right here on the side of the taillights, which if you press this button, it will pop up the tailgate right there. So you can use your elbows or your shoulders or whatever. If you have your hands full to pop it up, you can do that by just pressing that button. But this is one of these designs that I think I have to wait to see in real life because usually what happens when I see a design of photos, it gives me one impression and then I see it in real life and the design and the lines start of make more sense when you have a three, when you have it in a, as a 3D object right in front of you. I'm not gonna say that I dislike or like this rear end. For now, it's an interesting approach to a, a new solution, specifically for the bumper as we talked about. And it looks cool. I think it's going to look even cooler when I see it out on the streets. Now, the traditional design here of the Nissan Titan, it looks a lot more traditional than the Tundra up here. And it's a good looking rear end. And same thing here. For some reason, I know this is a little bit more of a side view angle of the Tundra right here. But if we compare it to the rear end of the Titan, the Titan still looks less bulky in the rear end. It, it still has a lot of a lot more graphic features. As you can see, we have this black line right here on the deck lid that stretches across the entire width. And we also have the black bumper stretching the entire width of the car. And what this does, like we talked about in the front view here, we have graphics and lines stretching from one end to the other here that's lacking on the Tundra. That means we have the same kind of problem in the rear end design wise and graphically that, that it makes the Tundra look a lot taller and not as wide as we want it. Because they are so tall to begin with, we want to use the graphics of the car to stretch it out instead of building it vertically. We want to stretch it out horizontally. I think that's what uh, Nissan does very well here with the Pro 4X and the Titan in general with these graphics and also the bumper down here stretching the full width of the, of the, of the truck itself. But now we're coming to the most important part here when it comes to any type of car design and you want to start analyzing designs, it's always going to be the side view. This gives you the best overview of the design. And that's what I want to show you right here. So this is the underbite that I was talking about for the uh, Tundra right here. Same thing here. I think I talked about this on the Sketch Monkey channel. Again, go check that out if you want to. Really popping out immediately when I look at the Tundra up top here is the, the size of the wheels. They look very, very small here. Even though they are 33s, I would love to see 35s on the Tundra. But what makes them even smaller graphically is I think you can tell what it is. I think I mentioned this in a couple of cars before. More recently, the Subaru WRX has the same exact problem as this. And that is that you have black graphics here, specifically if you have a white truck like we have right here, this black graphics make it look like the wheel well is a lot bigger than it actually is. And you it kind of swallows the tires. And another thing that emphasizes this even more, unfortunately in this case, is first we have the black and white contrast, which make it look like it's a massive hole there. On top of that, the wheels and tires are very, very dark here on the TRD Pro. So it, they kind of disappear in these massive black holes that are the wheel wells of, of, the, of the truck. A solution to this would be to change the color of this plastic cladding right here or go with 35 inch tires and maybe not have full black wheel, maybe have a rim that is another color than black so we can see where the, where the wheel ends and the tire begins and also where the body starts and the tire ends as well. So we want to have a little bit more separation between between those two. But in the side view here in general, it looks pretty good, this Toyota Tundra. One thing I miss from the previous generation, which is a, a kind of important deal when it comes to design and having these three boxes like we have with any truck being built up with. We have box number one right here in front. So this would be box one. The greenhouse would then be box two. And then we have box three being the bed. So we want to have some sort of connection between these three boxes. We want to have one line or one graphic 
graphic that connects these three boxes. And I think that's lacking here. We did have it on the previous generation Tundra. We had a strong shoulder line that went like this from the start to the rear and it connected everything. And then you can do whatever you want in between here, but we still have a line that kind of connects everything. That's lacking with the Tundra here in the new version. You can see we have very stark graphics right here stamped into the fenders of the car and they don't really connect with each other anywhere. You have this open space here now with nothing to connect the, the bed with the front end and nothing to connect the greenhouse with the front or the rear. And that's what's, what I think is kind of lacking on the new Tundra. But at the same time, it doesn't really have to have a specific line flow because it's a full size truck. So line flow it does it and, and elegance doesn't really apply to this segment of car, but it's still something that we had on the old one. But I wish they would implement here on the new one as well. I kind of like this A pillar being blacked out, even though the section where it actually goes from black to white is kind of a little weak. I want to have a little more of a substantial cut line there or something. But overall, it's a cool design. I wish they would work a little bit more on the front bumper here and make something more dynamic than this because now we have the same kind of chamfer here as we have right here and it's create a heavy front. It looks like the weight of the front and it's hanging very low when you have that type of design in the front. Looking at the Titan here, as I said in the front end, it looks more still here from the side view as a SUV or, or almost like a uh, like, like a regular car design in the front end and not a full size truck. It's a good looking truck. What I like here is if, if you look at the uh, Toyota up here, we have this line in the fender stretching from kind of in the middle of the rear fender right here. And it doesn't stretch all the way back. So it doesn't even connect to the rear or to the greenhouse or to the front here. At least we have it being stretched to the rear. So it wraps around the rear here. Same thing with the front. It wraps, it goes into the, the grill here. And these are two lines that I think creates a little bit more of a connection that we have on the, on the um, Tundra up top. So overall, which one would I choose? and which one would I buy based on the design. I have to say it's very hard to tell at this point because I haven't seen the Tundra uh, in real life yet. I have seen a bunch of Pro 4Xs and I think they look great. But if I were to pick one, I'm gonna have to go with the Pro 4X in this case. Not just beca because of the styling, which I right now prefer over the new Tundra, just because it has a little bit more flow in it, a little more of a... Um, uh, connection between the three boxes as we talked about but not just that it also has the v8 still with 400 horsepower and i think that would uh, be something i would want in, in my full-size truck even though we are moving towards electrification and everything but still if we're going off-road i would love to have a v8 in the truck i would just pick and that would be the Nissan Pro 4X here. But at the same time, I'm really looking forward to seeing the Toyota Tundra, which is more powerful than the V8 Titan. And I'm pretty sure my mind is going to change once I see those out on the streets.